The lack of motivation can be crippling. And if you don't feel like doing anything, then you won't. And each day that goes by, you'll feel worse and worse about the fact that you're not actually doing anything. So in this video, I'm going to talk about one large approach and a few smaller ones to help you get over this lack of motivation. In addition, I'll be performing an inspiration activation. Because the terrestrial emotions are my specialty, I work with clients who are suffering from lower vibrational emotions like apathy all the time. There are some smaller things that we can do to overcome apathy, and I'll be talking about those. But there's one big one that we can do, and it's everything. It's not just big. It's everything. Imagine what you could do if you had no limitations whatsoever. You had no money restrictions. You could find a team of people who were excited about doing the same thing and were, were experts in their individual fields. Imagine that you had the education and the experience that you needed. What I'm trying to do here is stop that pessimistic mindset. Stop all the reasons that you convince yourself that you can't do the thing that you really want to do. Forget about the fact that you're, you have to pay your bills and make money and so you, you take a lesser job. Forget all of that for a minute and just imagine that you could tomorrow start creating the exact thing that you want in your life. What would it look like? Would it be housing for all? Would you want to create a new government? Would you want to feed everyone on the planet? Uh, would you want an animal sanctuary on, on every continent? Would you want to create a better economic system? Imagine you were the richest person in the world by billions of dollars. It means you really truly could just do anything. What would that thing be? Don't picture what you should do. Like some people say, well, I should write a book. That doesn't sound like passion to me. That sounds like a chore. Just drop your limiting beliefs and allow yourself to get excited about any possibility. And think about what it would feel like. Think about how it would feel every day to wake up inspired and excited about this thing that you want to do with your life. And stop worrying about the smaller things. And think about it from the perspective of both the journey and the destination. Think about what it feels like to actually accomplish your goal and think about what it feels like on a day-to-day -day basis. One of my favorite quotes is from Martin Luther King Jr. And he said, you don't have to see the whole staircase. All you have to do is take the first step. So in order now to take the first step on your ideal life mission is to break it down a little bit and start to create a list of the things that you would need to do to accomplish this. Now, this is where you bring it back into your current everyday life. And you say, okay, in order to do this first thing, all I have to do is do the research or take a class or create a website or write to this person who I know would be able to help me with this. Whatever it is, that first step is usually quite simple. And it can be very motivating because you can say, oh, well, I can do this one step. I don't have to worry about the whole concept. All I have to do is really one step at a time. When you take that first step, the universe will conspire to help you. It will start to bring things forward that will make your path easier. That's the magic of following your actual passion because that is your higher self's way of talking to you. It's telling you, do this and don't do that. Because you've come here for a specific reason. You've come here with a purpose. And that purpose can be revealed to you if you follow your passion. And understand that as you go down your path and you take step number one, and then you take step number two, and you take step number three, remember to always follow your passion, even if it feels off or strange. So maybe as you're about to do step number four, step number four doesn't sound very exciting to you, but something else pops into your mind that is, and it might not even be related to your overall goal and your overall purpose. Maybe you'll be excited to do this other thing. And so you go ahead and do it. Even though it feels counterproductive, it isn't. So let's say that you do some alternate other than step number four. What 
probably will end up happening is that you'll meet someone new or you'll gain some sort of experience that will help you on your overall goal. And once you've accomplished that thing, you turn back toward your list and number four all of a sudden looks pretty easy and pretty doable and you'll feel passionate and excited about it. So it's important not to bring your expectations or your rigorous adherence to a set of rules or a set of steps. Instead, go in with flow and allow that passion and excitement to guide you because it will guide you in the right direction. So you can relax and not push yourself so hard and not be so worried so much and know that the universe has your back. If you have more questions about this, then please hit me up in some way. Find me on Facebook, send me an email off my website, whatever it is. I love to help people accomplish their goals and find their passions. That is one of my passions. So other things that you can do to cast aside apathy and encourage inspiration are simple little adjustments that you can make in your life. For instance, if you're finding that you're really stuck, one quick and easy solution is to go outside for a minute. Nature is an absolutely amazing place and it's inspiring. By spending a few moments there and living in that moment and observing this amazing thing that's happening every single day all around us and all over the world can make you feel more connected to it and break you out of that apathy rut. Do something that you've been saving for a special occasion. In many cases, we set aside something for ourselves, a reward for accomplishing something. We're already feeling great when we give ourselves that reward. We're already feeling the excitement over our accomplishment. We don't need to pile onto that. Actually, what we need to do is balance ourselves out. And so in an apathetic situation, in a depression situation, if you can bring something in or, or give yourself a reward and say, hey, you know what? I've been dealing with this for a long time. I've been suffering. I deserve a reward for making it through all of that. So let me give myself a little treat, whatever that thing is that you've been setting aside for a special occasion. It's time to break it out. Do your favorite form of exercise. Maybe it's finding a friend who you like to play tennis or racquetball with. Maybe it's going outside and taking a bike ride. Whatever it is, exercise is huge. And, and a lot of times we look at exercise and we go, ugh, I don't feel like doing that. But if you can find one that you're really excited about, something that you really enjoy, find someone to throw the frisbee with or whatever it is that you like about, or go swimming. There's so many types of, of exercise that we actually get excited about as opposed to the type that we don't get excited about. Avoid that for sure and find the one that excites you. Listen to some uplifting music or watch an uplifting documentary. In many cases, you'll want to watch an uplifting documentary that you've already seen so that you know that it's truly uplifting. Sometimes those documentaries can really drag you down. So pick one that inspires you. Something like The Secret or I Am or Samadhi. There's so many different documentaries and so much music that can change your perspective. Surround yourself with people who are inspiring. In many cases, we can have a friend group that really doesn't bring us up and out of our rut. But instead, there are people out there who love to get excited about life and love to get excited about helping others. So those are the types of people that you really want to surround yourself with when you're in an apathy situation. I now have a series of videos that can really help you on your path. And each one of the videos has activations in them that I would love for you, you to participate in. The first one you should watch is removing negative entities because negative entity attachments can really do a lot to bring us down. We could feel apathy just because we have a negative entity attachment. So you can remove that by watching this video. Another effective step in overcoming apathy is to start a gratefulness practice. And I have another video on this and it has a gratefulness activation. This activation will make it easier for you to find gratefulness all around you. And just like all of my activations, 
you can watch them over and over again and experience that shift whenever you want to. And now I would also like to go ahead and provide an inspiration activation to help overcome this apathy feeling that you might have. Hopefully, you already feel a little bit more inspired after having listened to this and you're excited about discovering what your true passion really is. And to give you a little bit of a boost to this, I want to go ahead and provide that activation. So I want you to go ahead and get into a comfortable position with your feet flat on the floor, or if you're laying in a bed, that's fine. Just don't cross your legs and your arms and go ahead and close your eyes. I want you to take a nice big deep breath and I want you to relax as you exhale. Feel your shoulders slump. Feel your back relax. The muscles in your legs and your arms, your hands and your fingers. And anytime I'm not speaking, just go ahead and remain breath aware. I want you to picture yourself standing in a grassy field. You can feel the warm sun on your face. You can feel the breeze across your body. You can hear the sound of the grass, the tall grass rustling in the wind. And I want you to picture yourself with your arms out wide in a pose of acceptance for the unlimited energy of the universe coming to you through our star. And I want you to picture yourself still in this field, in this exact situation, but knowing that you have begun your journey. You have discovered your purpose and you're excited about accomplishing it. There is nothing that will stop you from accomplishing your goal, no matter what it is. Because you are source, you are the universe, you are everything and everything is you. And all we have to do is acknowledge that it is possible for you to accomplish your goal. It is possible for you to accomplish your goal. And if it's possible, then that's all you need. So feel for a moment what it feels like, the excitement that you feel over experiencing the journey to do the thing that you've always wanted to do. And you have no other worries anymore. You have no other concerns. There's nothing that is more important than this thing in your life. And what does that feel like? What does that inspiration feel like? What does that excitement feel like? Where do you feel it in your body? Do you feel it in your chest? Do you feel it because you're smiling so much, your cheeks kind of hurt? And I want you to focus on that feeling all the way through the activation. And how my activations work is I'm going to say breath in. And when I do, you'll take a nice big deep breath, you'll hold it at the top, and you'll wait for me to say the word awaken, and then you can exhale. Breath in. Awaken! Oh, 
And I would like for you to now picture yourself doing that thing that you've always wanted to do. You're working at your computer or you're directing people or you're helping people, whatever it is, picture yourself there doing it right now. That visualization exercise will help bring it into reality. And don't be afraid to picture yourself in that situation every day. And when you're ready to live this new life, to undergo a complete transformation so that you are no longer waiting for anything else to happen, that you are no longer feeling apathetic about life, when you are ready to kick ass and make a huge difference in the world and in your world, when you're ready for all of this, then you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for participating in that activation and listening to this video. Another one that I highly recommend is an activation you can download off of my website. And what it does is it gives you an energy boost and activates your chi energy center of the body. A lot of times apathy can either cause or come from a lower energy state. This would give you a giant boost that you can use and you can use it on a day-to-day -day basis whenever you feel a little bit sluggish. So the instructions on how to download that activation are listed in the comments below. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. You can watch these other videos and you can also subscribe and click the bell icon. And what this will do is let you know when I have new videos and activations, but it will also help me expand my reach so that I can help others like you. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you on the next one.